Welcome to this first video cast about MySQL group replication. Today's topic is concurrent DDLs on multi-primary cluster. As you may know, this is not supported. So let's first start by checking which mode is running our cluster. So you can see single primary mode is disabled. So we are uh, using multi-primary cluster, which means that we can write on all the nodes member of this cluster. I will use um, sysbench to create some load and we will modify on two different nodes the table used by sysbench. So MySQL 1 is on the lower right terminal, MySQL 2 is on the upper right terminal and MySQL 3 is on the lower left terminal. So as you can see we have the same records everywhere, so data is consistent. And now what we're going to do, we're going to create a new column, so add a new column in MySQL 2 and in MySQL 3, but two different ones. So in MySQL 2 I will create a new column called new1 and it will be an integer and in MySQL 3 I will create a new uh, column called new2 will we be a var car okay so with default data we're gonna run the two alter statement exactly at the same time so there will be concurrent so using the same modifying the same table on the cluster so new one and new two it is running as you can see, this is not blocking anything on the cluster. So this is not yet replicated on MySQL 1, but we can see that on MySQL 3 the new column is there and on MySQL 2 the new column is there, but they are all new column. So we have inconsistency here right now and as you can see again MySQL 2, um, MySQL 3 has replicated uh, to MySQL 2 already so we have new 1, new 2 on MySQL 2 but we have new 2, new 1 in MySQL 3 so the order of the column is different and this is where it is very dangerous of course now it has to be replicated on MySQL 1, 2 also so it takes time, but we can already see that MySQL 1 will have new 2, new 1. So the order will be the same as MySQL 3. As group replication is, is using row-based replication, uh, this when we're going to use data there, we're going to create uh, some issue and uh, note will be ejected from the from the cluster so they won't be able to write anymore so this creates errors and this is what we try to avoid so if you do so please watch out and don't use concurrent DDL on multi um, cluster nodes multi primary thank you for watching see you next time bye bye